Yeah, thank you. Um, and I remember reading the book uh, by Kabil Zugman and M.O.L. Saas. I thought it was called Triumph of Injustice, and I was delighted reading it. But I also thought, it's pretty American. Why, why don't we have the European equivalent of a book like that? And this is how I see today. Uh, we have Kabil Zugman in our midst, supported by a team of the EU Tax Observatory, uh, ready I think and I hope to change the debate on taxation uh, in Europe. Um, and that's exactly what we need. Um, it's a democratic, open debate. Let me emphasize this point. I'm sometimes taken aback by the situation that we're in, that discussion on corporate taxation or other forms of international taxation are done in back rooms by um, civil servants with no public accountability, not, not by chosen politicians, and that the debate remains behind closed doors. Whereas, in my experience as a politician, taxation is not a technical issue, it's a very political, a very social issue. Uh, and usually take an important part of the public debate. When it comes to international European taxation, that's sometimes difficult. And what I see today is that we now start to develop a public infrastructure to crack open the back rooms and bring the debate of taxation to the public. We already have a commissioner that's taking the lead in fighting tax avoidance. Uh, I expect more I expect more of him. He, he, uh, there are still ideas around that, I, uh, that I'm eager, eagerly waiting for. Um, of course, backed up by DG Tax Suit. Uh, and at the same time, we have in this European Parliament started with the FISC subcommittee, the subcommittee of, uh, on tax matters. And we're the only parliament in, now in Europe that are dedicated to European and international taxation. And we do that by bringing out reports on digital taxation, on harmful tax practices, by having heroes on come, 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 come X, sometimes technical issues, but also reaching out to national parliaments because they are sometimes in a very poor position to take part in the debate, just showing how undemocratic and close the debate right, right now is. It's too, too much in the back room. And joining this infrastructure today is now the EU tax observatory. And I think what we need uh, to make the debate more uh, public and therefore more political is facts, figures data, research, analysis, debates about that. That is one way to open up, and I think that we now have a constellation um, that should not be just Brussels-based, but also very much European in its outreach, the Commission, the Parliament, the EU Tax Observatory, to make the debate on taxation uh, more European, more public, and more political. And uh, so I very much welcome Kabil Zukman and his team and I would also like to thank Swain Kikot, who had a very good idea to, um, because we had a discussion in the last mandate with then, uh, then Commissioner Pierre Moscovici, how we needed to reinforce the research infrastructure. Unfortunately, Swain had a very good idea to bring forward a pilot project and give this final push to the EU Tax Observatory. But I very much welcome Kabit Zukman and the Tax Observatory. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tang. Mr. Kikot, over to you.